sometimes you but don't you think during the entire podcast there have been moments where we were like okay yeah we do agree with that but also yeah. like we it's just we're, another commentary or something there have been moments where we give me an example pathetic. we're like okay so you said uh, i mean i don't that know money statistic. start taking notes i I'm agree sorry. with men and women are not equal we can agree on that that mm-hmm. money statistic that and she said with even like that, five years like, older and then the increase the, of money the like we agree with you yeah, yeah. like there, like, there have been moments most where stuff that you said so we've been like okay i get that I wouldn't say that we necessarily lack empathy because we are hearing you out. But at the same time, like we are giving you our opinions. Like you said, we are coming from like a self self view because it is our opinion. But at the same time, like we've heard you out. We've heard your general like statements and everything. And like, that's okay and everything. But we still are hearing you out saying, oh, okay, I get that. But for me personally, and that's what you pointed out. Like we're speaking from a personal perspective, which is okay. But we have heard out the generality as well. But a general conversation speaking from personal perspective by definition limits you yeah but i'm saying like we've heard you out and said yeah i agree and then you know we're here to give an opinion as well so this is our opinion but we have agreed with you okay like, you we can give an opinion empathy. but what place is higher opinions or facts well i didn't say it was less i it's... just said we've showed empathy towards mm-hmm. what you've said that was we've we've heard you exactly. out. Exactly. yes we so, so, yes, yes, you you just told us was was us every time i've stated you. an objective fact about what men find attractive in women your response was well it shouldn't be that way or no, i don't agree but or, isn't, no, that, but uh, isn't that the point of a conversation, conversation? Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's points that we've heard you i've been like oh, okay like i get that and then the whole point of the conversation like she was just saying is opinion right. as well like oh but here's our perspective but we heard out your generality and but said opinions I agree are with that. irrelevant in the face of factual okay, data okay but let's say we all are agreeing on the same thing where is the conversation if we're all like oh yeah yep okay yeah, yeah. So, that'd be a more yeah. Right, yeah. literally just <laughs> admitted that you're arguing to argue no, no. that's not what i'm saying but i'm like, just we saying we have a conversation but if we all agree then there's no conversation if you want us to just agree with the generality that's fine but if you don't want to hear our opinion then what are we i mean no, think about right. it like we do but what we're saying is like, hey listen like you say one thing but you do next thing you know cuz you said you've had 25,000 women on the show and okay. all of about us 2,500. 2,500. Yeah. Okay. 25, 000, 25, 000. Yeah, that's a little crazy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I got my number skewed. My bad. That's right. So you've had all these women on the show, and generally, all of us have had similar. I mean, you kind of even see with this group how you have it's a little bit divided. You see one opinion, you see another. But generally, you're saying that all the women that you've had on the show have had the same idea. Yes. So isn't that the purpose? Is you're showing your male perspective versus the female? I mean, because th- am I too far from the mic? But then Did you're you know also that? saying that we're personalizing things yet. Yeah all the women you've had have had the same thing. So how so personal so how are you yeah, picking how the really, girls that are coming here? Not even that, but how personalizing is it if we're all saying the same it thing? It proves what I've said before. Women are naturally solipsistic, narcissistic, and tend to view the world from their own purview only and yeah. are in, uh, unable, a lot of the times, to put themselves in someone else's shoes, empathy, and understand that the world doesn't necessarily work according to their world perspective. Is that women or people in general? I think people in general are just are, focused yep. on themselves. How am I going to get to work? How am I going to make money? How of am course. I going to eat today? But How am I going to self-sustain? It's not, it's not women or men. It's but but women are far more, far more guilty of being solipsistic than men are. And the reason for that is because men live a much harder life than women do. I don't think so because women are, you're growing up as a woman thinking like, I'm going to have to have kids one day to take care of. I'm going to have to have, so you are like pre So you think in 2023, women live a harder life than men do? No, it's not harder because we harder both have um, different goals to reach to be actually like, you know, valuable to the opposite sex. You know, you say you have to be successful. Okay, you have to be successful, but us women, we have to be attractive. So there's different types of priority as women that we have to take and as you as men have to take i would argue being attractive is a lot easier than being successful i i mean to a certain extent but not really because okay attractive what do you consider attractive a girl with big lips okay let me get feathers. Let, let me get hairs let me get extensions a girl with a big ass let me get a bbl an average looking woman can pull a man three to four points above her but it's not going to work the other way around so in other words average women have access to top tier guys but it's not the other way around yeah. are the top tier guys attracted to these average women or do you think uh, like attracted with them attracted to a relationship they wouldn't like marry them there's been times where they even get married but what i'm trying to say though is that women are able to easily bat three to four leagues above them but men can't do that can i ask you a question so because women date up men date down okay so do you think that high value men their goal is to also get married to start a family to provide for a woman is that something that a high value man seeks i mean or every guy think... has different uh, different wants and needs okay but women don't but you but now you're speaking personalizing but 
I think you, you were saying that you prefer the fact that you said you were what with three, four different women. But yep. Chris, like, do you think your end goal is to, if you f- see yourself as a high value man, do you think your end goal is to have a family, to raise kids with a wife, to to provide for them? Like, is that the end goal for men or is that just for Most women? Most men don't want to be monogamous. It's yeah. true. I'm sure. Uh, honestly, just speaking from experience, but I'm asking you guys. Because I feel like you couldn't answer my question, but obviously, I just it. you no, 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 hold on, you couldn't answer our question when we asked if you think you are high value. But I think that you internally do see yourself as that. So, is your end goal to have a family, to to provide for them, to I mean, make if, sure they if, have a high value? If the girl is like, you know, hey, listen, I'll, I'll fuck with you, and then I better <laughs> out. And once again, I live in Miami, in Brickell. You know what I'm saying? Numbers. So, long story short, is I know what it takes to live in a certain area. If I'm dealing with girls and hey, listen, I fuck with you, boom, boom, boom. I personally have rules. Mm-hmm. If she can't follow the rules, then it's like I, I can't fuck with her. If she does follow them, what are yeah. your rules? What are your rules? What are your rules? I want to know your rules. Wait, 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 wait. I, wait. Go. I want you. She, I want you to answer. She, I want you to answer my question. She embodies what you want. She follows those rules. Let's say you've dated then for endure. this amount of time, and she comes endure. up to you and she goes, "You know what, Chris? I want to tie down. I, I don't want you to, yeah, to hook endure. up to like, other I've, women." I've, I've had plenty of girls. I said, came to me, hey, I want to be a girlfriend. But she, that's not answering my question. If Sit up this, and stop yawning. <laughs> I'm stretching. That hurts that's me. fine. Yeah. If this Cruise woman embodies me. everything that you want, do you see yourself settling down with one woman for the rest of your no, life? No, because I've I've worked hard to actually like provide a whole lifestyle, you know, for who I love. So like, you, for example, if I'm dating you, right? All right, cool. Are you happy? So you're telling well, me, like, are, are, are you happy with me, right? Am I happy? Yeah, if like you're if providing everything that I could. Happy, right? Sure, the we're happy. The house, the food. Okay. The like love, the, block, the caring, like, the loyalty, the everything. Okay, cool. And then I have a whole other girl, right? Me, like, us That two. would make me unhappy. You know? you're, you're hooking up my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there, done that. But anyways. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. But what I'm saying is this. Is like, hey, listen, I've, I've been in, you know, like, Girls aren't gonna break up with a guy just because he's he's fucking around with some other girl. Uh, I'm so sorry. Most girls. girls. No, most, no, no, most no. girls. I'm so sorry. Girls would. Girls prefer the loyalty. Prefer the one. Yeah, but they're men. But they're not gonna break up with a guy just because. Of I, that. I'm sorry. Everybody in this room, can we answer that question? <laughs> because I would 1,000 percent break up with a guy. All right, ladies, raise your hand. If a guy was taking care of you, right? He mm-hmm. paid for your bills. Uh, he took care of you, right? You know. Like your safety, he's he's ripped, he's fit, whatever. Your ideal man, right? If he was to fuck a girl, right? Would you break up with him? That you wouldn't and be my ideal man no. if you're no. doing that. And you're you're stupid. To, Where's that? No, oh, so, so I wouldn't break up with if him. If you want to fuck somebody else, why are you with me? Right? Yeah, like, and going back to it. Why? Why? Ladies, a guy can still love you. And so bust a nut down the street. Why? That's why didn't you just do that with me then? Like, why do you have because, to go down the street? Because, like Fresh said, right? Damn. But love and commitment are the two best pussy. What are you? <laughs> the best pussy. No, y'all are just clueless. That's that. that like that, that. As we continue on with the conversation, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you're yo, saying that men can't be. Wait, 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 ladies. And then, um, but Mario, why? Like, wait, wait, wait. Shh. Okay, yeah. The best pussy is a new pussy, right? I can still love you, right? You know, it's my girl, man. She's she's the best, right? Jay Z, she with be- with Beyonce, but she ain't going nowhere, man. You know. But they have things that tie them down, like they have families. They probably have. Listen, Jay Z makes have. more money than her, right? But at the end of the day, it's like, does listen, he? yes, he does. does. He? He's a billionaire. She's yeah. like, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> long story short, ladies, like. I can still love you and still bust a nut down the street and still come home to you and still love you. I agree. But you, but you can't do the same. You can't fuck a, a, another. I once disagree. you fuck another guy, it's over. I nah. also wouldn't want to. No. Wait, 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 right, right. So if. raise your hand if you can fuck another guy. She answered it right there. Man. She literally just look. She said, "I wouldn't want to fuck another guy." All right. There's no, your no, answer. No, no, no. I, I wouldn't want to fuck another guy if I truly love somebody. Exactly. I wouldn't have to. Okay. Want, so now, why? critical okay, thinking but, skills. Do you think a man that loves you still wants to fuck another girl? Yes. yes or no? Yes. They probably ponder like if the, they absolutely. think about yeah. girls yes. even. Like we'll see. So so do they think about it versus do they act on it is different. If I see a hot guy on the street and I am in a relationship i'm not gonna go talk to him i'm not gonna like i'm not gonna interact in any way but you glance because it's your like natural it's instincts. natural yeah. yeah yeah i'm not gonna sit there and stare at him just because i think he's hot maybe like oh he's cute okay whatever i'm gonna go on my day and never think about him again yeah but your need to have sex with him is yeah. probably very little if you are super attracted to your guy but men are not the same but what about like uh, emotional attachment like if i'm with a guy and he's telling me like 
new pussies, better pussy. Like, I'm yeah. supposed to be like, all right, I'm so sorry. Go ahead. There's some bitches down the street. Like, that would make me so unhappy. What about our, like, happiness at the end of the day? Like, I'm supposed to just be like, all right. What you know if it what? makes him happy to have uh, multiple women? Then that's just not my guy. Right. And that's mm. a, and So is your that, happiness but, overrides his? But does that, sorry? So your happiness Correct. overrides his? I think it's not I don't think his happiness overrides mine. I think it's genuinely a balance. And like if it's if a guy thinks that he should be with multiple women, that's fine with me. I think it's, just, it's hold, on. hold on. If a guy Happy that, King, happy kingdom. No, that, it's happy wife, happy life. Yeah, what? Yeah. Well, you made that up. That's one of the that's one of the biggest lies <laughs> that we tell. That's one of the biggest lies we tell people is that happy wife, happy life. The reality is there's no such thing as happy wife, happy life because it's very difficult to please women. So yeah, that's, it, it I don't think simple so. To so simple. I you feel think like you're surviving for everybody. Hold on, hold on, like you hold on. think you have do you, to? Who do you think? Are easier to please in general, men or women? Men, you guys. Yeah. I so, could, you just said that men. All they need is sex, new pussy. Yeah. Dating man is easy. Women, like, so, so, so therefore, yeah. what I've realized is that the best relationships are typically when the man has the leverage and the guy is happy, and then the girl is happy as a byproduct of that. But when it's the other way around, and the woman has holds all the cards, it doesn't work. But what makes a guy happy? Sleeping with other women? Like that's, I mean, that's what doesn't make sense to me. That's, so that's, that's what Peace. I'm asking is why? Because Peace. I don't think I could be with a guy who sleeps with other women. So does that mean I'm never gonna get a high value no. man? Facts. Probably not. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Because he, I don't want him to sleep with That's other women. That's what comes women. in the territory. Yeah, facts. That, I, but you're also talking about traditional relationship values. You know, there are many types of different relationships. And traditionally, men, uh, traditionally, men that have resources and access to certain situations have always had a multitude of women. That's how it's been. Yep. Right. But at the same time, Should society, I do the canister analogy here? Wait, what is that? No, don't. Canister. I feel like nowadays, like you said, candy, society you know. has switched around. And there are many type of different relationships. It's not just say monogamy. That biological hardwiring overrides society norms. Um, I mean, it just depends on evolution. There's something out there Chat, for everybody. Do you want the uh, Kenny Sore analogy? I think that's the best way to illustrate this, so they kind of understand. But we do have chats to read, though. We do have chats. Yeah, we have a lot of chats to read. All right, yeah, let's uh, so let's go ahead and read them. Uh, Mo. Okay, uh, so. Um, 